Good morning to everyone. At the very outset, I wish every one of you happy Independence Day. 15th August is very dear to each and every Indian and we celebrate this day with gratitude to God, to our freedom fighters and all those who sacrifice their today for our tomorrow. It was in 1947, India gained freedom after a series of moments in which many freedom fighters sacrificed their lives. To mark this great historical event, we celebrate this day with great passion, love, respect and energy all over the country and our brothers and sisters who live all over the globe. This day holds an everlasting place in the national memory and commands the respect of every Indian. It is the most auspicious day for our country because India became independent after lots of hardships and sacrifices by our freedom fighters who fought for a united, integrated and independent nation. India, our motherland, is a beautiful country with its multilingual, multicultural and multi-religion with its various nature. Rich in scenic beauty, we are very lucky and fortunate to be born as Indian. One can find people from various religions living unitedly in this country. It takes pride in celebrating and respecting the festivals as well as the rituals of all the religions. India has been advancing steadily and beautifully in every field, be it in science, technology, agriculture, sports, literature, art and music, etc. In the recent Olympics, our participants made us proud by winning gold, silver and bronze medals and brought laurels to our country. At the same time, we cannot forget the hard, difficult days our nation has undergone. While on the one hand we see growth, on the other hand, we see lot of people who are poor, poverty stricken, suffering due to unemployment, illiteracy, sickness, migration and other social evils which have hindered the growth of our nation. At present, we collectively facing COVID-19 pandemic that has created an unsafe place for all of us to live a normal life and it has a deep impact on everyone without any exception. Rich or poor, educated or uneducated, etc. In these situations, we the citizens of our country need to work hand in hand and help one another. Dear students, let us be extremely proud and happy to be the citizens of this great nation. One of the main motives for celebrating Independence Day is to inculcate in you dear children the love for Mother India and to live in the awareness of the sacrifices made by the different people to make our country a better place. So dear students, all of us need to work hand in hand in preserving the rich cultural heritage and legacy of our country. You have the power to brighten the tomorrow of India. It's my humble request to you dear children, learn to grow in virtues, 
inculcate good values and strive to live a good life so that all of us may tirelessly work for the betterment of our country and uphold the values envisioned in the preamble of our constitution. Let there be two freedom, liberty, equality and fraternity. Once again, wishing each one of you happy Independence Day. Jai Hind. Hello everyone, I am Dean Sabu Sumatari, a studying class at the one Bethany School Board. Today my role is the Dalit Subha Center Board. He was a great freedom fighter of India. Freedom is not given, it's taken. Give me blood, I give you freedom. In clubs in the bar, in clubs in the bar. Karmata Kijay.